Uh, let's talk to Andrew Montford, director of Net Zero Watch, because uh, only this week we've got Ed Miliband chanting and raving on about what a brilliant job he's doing uh, trying to spend taxpayers' money. Have a look at this. School's back, Parliament's back, and I'm back announcing the record-breaking results of our renewables auction. 131 projects powering 11 million homes. This is what it means to deliver our clean energy mission, energy security for Britain. School's back, Parliament's back, and I'm back. Did, and, no, sorry, sorry. Yeah, he's not known as First Take Ed for nothing, because uh, he's not First Take Ed. But, Andrew, very good morning to you. Uh, what, good he morning, does, what he doesn't tell us, of course, in that little promotional clip from the Department of Energy, uh, is it's going to cost us a bleeding fortune. I think the Telegraph's got a piece this morning saying as much as £150 per household. And the idea that it's an auction is a bit of a kind of um, a smokescreen, isn't it? Because it's not really an auction. Uh, it's a place where we give loads of money to people to see if they'll pick up on a project. Absolutely. Uh £150 is probably in the right kind of ballpark for what this is going to is going to add to people's bills and you know some of it will come through on your on your electricity bill and some of it will come through in the cost of living it's it's rather scary just how fanatical Ed Miliband is he we are really getting to a crunch point on electricity bills um they are going to start going up exponentially from now on um, and you know he's he's ploughing on regardless. He he just ducks the important questions of you know what we're going to do when the wind isn't blowing. Mm. It looks at the moment like we're going to we're going to just stick with gas turbines. Um, but you know he's a bit vague about that, and he's trying to shut down the North Sea, which makes no sense to anybody if we're going to keep the gas turbines. Um, so yeah, it, it's an utter mess. But he's a fanatic, um, and and yeah. He's, he's dangerous. He is. I think you're absolutely right. And I noticed the other day, I think uh, you put out a tweet suggesting that uh, the amount of power we'd be generating uh, by both solar and wind was negligible into the uh, into the national grid. Yeah, I mean, at times it, it is certainly negligible. Um, um, you know, it, it, it's been down to just a few gigawatts, so, you know, a few percent of demand. Um, but at times it it soars through the roof. You know, when it's windy, um, we, we generate at times um, more power um, than than we actually need. And right. then we have to pay these 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 wind farms to switch off. Um, so, you know, it, it's lose-lose for the consumer. Um, and, you know, the average price of electricity goes up and up and up. You know, it, we've been doing renewables for 20 years. Um, up until the start of the Ukraine war, Gas prices had, had remained stable, electricity prices had doubled. That's the effect of renewables. Okay, we then had the Ukraine war and prices soared. They've now come down again, but it looks like they're starting to turn and go up again as we add more renewables onto the grid. So people have to expect under the, the, the Labour government that we're going to, you know, we're going to get another five years yeah. of electricity price rises. And, you know, I don't know whether you saw what went on in Parliament when, when Ed Miliband announced um the the results yes. of the auction yeah the 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 conservatives basically applauded him and yeah. said how wonderful it was well the only I the mean, only clip that i've seen that's worth a fag end is richard tice actually putting to him that it is a complete and utter disaster for britain a disaster for consumers and it's going to cost us all an awful lot of money and all he gets back from Miliband is that oh well you know the prices didn't rise because of renewables the prices rose because of our over dependence on fossil fuels and you go well yeah but if your fossil fuel dependence was actually homegrown and we had our own fossil fuels it would be fine Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I thought um, Ed Miliband's response to um, um, Richard Tice was was absolutely shameful. Um, he's basically trying to duck Tice's questions. Yeah. This idea that you should plan the future of the energy system based on what happened for you know what eighteen um, an eighteen month period at a time of war. Mm. You know, we don't want our ele electricity system designed for war needs you know we want an electricity electricity system designed for what happens normally right. um and, and so, but what miliband is going to give us is permanently high electricity prices that is an absolute catastrophe for um british consumers and for british industry and why does he keep lying in that case about why uh, how much cheaper it's going to be i mean we know that the 300 pounds saving that they promised us from this great british energy fiasco uh, was a lie and it continues to be a lie they've more or less forgotten about it now they don't 
don't really mention it. But he keeps saying um, that all of this new renewable energy reliance will give us cheaper energy, and it won't. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there there may be a, a very um, 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 misleading case that it's going to give us electricity that was cheaper than than it was in 2020 at the height of the Ukraine war. But in in essence, you know, all those those auction bids came in at prices that are above uh, market prices for electricity. You know, we we can see that we're paying out 200 million pounds a month in 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 subsidies to right. these wind farms now so you know it's we're just gonna it's more of the same it's more subsidies it's more uneconomic um um renewables and and uh yeah it's higher bills there's 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 nothing yeah. we it's can do basically to prevent jobs that. for the boys isn't it at the end of the day andrew thanks thanks for talking to us good uh, good conversation andrew montford the director of net zero watch